deploying definite integral. So what we can use is u substitution. We'll set u, we gotta be careful about how we pick our u, but we'll set u equal to e raised to the 2x plus one. And the derivative of that's gonna be du, which is gonna be equal to, oh, excuse me, it's e raised to the 2x and then the plus one is out. So the derivative of this is just gonna be individual parts. So it's gonna be two e raised to the 2x and <clears throat> Uh, the derivative of one is just zero. So to get du equal to dx, we need to divide through by two. So take one half of that. So we can set this up. So it's gonna be zero to one for um, du times one half and du is over um, u. So we can put one half out in front. I know this is a little confusing. So that's that one half is what we had to divide uh, du by to get <clears throat> dx, which is e raised to the two x, not two e raised to the two x. So we're integrating um, u raised to the negative one du. So the du disappears when we integrate. So we get um, the integral of a negative uh, a negative raised to the one or. U, a value raised to the negative one is going to be um, natural log of what's inside, a natural log of u. And then um, from here on out, we can just go ahead and substitute back in. So we get one half natural log of e raised to the 2x plus 1. So then we can go ahead and take this from 0 to 1. So what that's going to be is we'll have one half and then so we'll have the natural log of e raised to the one or e raised to the one so it's going to be two plus one so e raised to the third minus natural log of e raised to the zero so it's going to be it ends up being e raised to the one so then what we end up with here is um, one half see so this ends up being one half e raised so the natural log of e raised to the third is just going to be three and then minus one so then we end up with as one half times two, which is equal to one. And I think that's pretty much it. Okay. All right. I hope this problem helped you out. I appreciate you watching and you have yourself a great day.